Hi guys, in this video, we are going to see how to use crop tool in Photobee. To select the crop tool, you need to click on this icon crop tool or you can use the shortcut key C or you can go to search and search for crop tool and you can select from here. So let's select the crop tool. After selecting the crop tool, you can see this crop box will be visible and you need to adjust it to make the crop. I'm going to adjust it and click on enter and you can see it is get cropped. I'm going to press Ctrl plus Z to undo. Let's see how the tools option works. So for this crop tool, the tools option are over here and you can see first one is free. So free means you can freely use this guide and you can crop it. If I change to fixed ratio means you will need to give the fixed height and width ratio. For example, right now it is in one by one. I'm going to make it to one by two, which means width is one and height will be two. You can see. So the ratio is changed to one is to two. So width is one and height is two. This is the ratio. So if I change it, you can see it is maintaining the same uh, ratio. So this is the fixed ratio. Next one is fixed size. So fixed size means you can give the specific sizes width and height. For example, I'm going to give 300 and height also 300. And it will create the crop box. So this is a fixed box. You can also change to different size from here. Like I'm going to change to 450 by 300. You can see 450 by 300. So width is 450 and height is 300. And you can also click on this one to interchange width and height. This is also available for fixed ratio. You can interchange the width and height by pressing this icon. And after that, in fixed ratio, you can also increase the size that will maintain its same ratio. Next one is origin ratio. Origin ratio means maintaining this image size ratio. For example, right now my image is in 1280 by 853. So it will maintain that ratio. So you can see it is maintaining that ratio. Next one, we have different ratios 1 is to 1. So that will maintain that ratio. Next is 4 by 3, 3 by 2 and 16 by 9. So these are the different ratios you can use while cropping your image. Next one is straighten layer. We will see that in uh, ruler tool. Let's move on to delete cropped pixel. So right now it is not selected. So I'm going to change the crop to free and I'm going to crop it without selecting the delete crop pixel and I'm going to press enter and you can see on the background layer using the move tool I'm moving it and you can see the cropped pixels are not getting deleted it is just cropped but it is not getting deleted now I'm going to select the delete crop pixel now I'm going to crop it and click on enter and select the move tool and move it. You can see the cropped pixel got deleted. Using this delete cropped pixel, you can delete your unwanted uh, cropped pixels or, or if you want those uh, areas, you can uncheck this delete crop pixel while cropping. Next one is content hour. So you can see this is the crop box. And you can also extend this crop box outside the canvas. So you can see now press enter means it will create the transparent areas. Right now we are not selecting content hour. If we select content hour means I'm going to check the content hour and extend this crop box and press enter and it will take some time. And you can see it is creating additional pixels based on this image and it is not perfect but you can see it is creating some additional pixels from the given image this is how the content of our option works so that's it this is how we can use crop tool to crop our image in photopea
So thanks for watching. If you like this video, give thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more future tutorials. Also press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when I upload a video. Thanks for watching and bye.